Okay, so according to Google Maps, looks like we go this direction to get to Ballpark Village. sign over there by the old courthouse also has Gateway Arch National Park fences surrounding it so maybe they're doing some type of construction but it's interesting that they are including that in the National Park okay which way do I want to go I feel like we can go, well, let's go up Market Street by a block and then come down to the left. This is Market Street that we're on right now. So when we get to the next intersection, which according to Google Maps is South Broadway, we're gonna turn left. On, on Google Maps throughout most of downtown along Market Street you've got green spaces like there's a green space here but then you have a building then beyond that there's a green space and it just kind of continues repeating like that see I'm making a liar out of myself I swear on that train ride in maybe it was just the train ride clouding my illusion the grass was like so dead looking but like here in downtown that I'm walking around it looks pretty vibrant even for this time of year all right you've got a hilton hotel but then next to the hilton you can already see the big sign that says st louis ballpark village dining and entertainment This is pretty fun. They got a mini St. Louis arch here for the Cardinals. I was taking a picture there for a second.
Wait, no cars are coming either way. Let's try to go through I skipped that for a second because that car was playing loud music and I was like no I don't want a copyright strike on my video there's a decent sized parking lot here Also a big sign that says Ballpark Village. Let's see if there's a way to capture a photo of that without getting, getting in the way of cars. Maybe on this little strip here. I don't know if I can go in here or if this is just like a huge restaurant area. Let me just try to take a quick... That was the Ballpark Village restaurant atmosphere with like multiple dining venues in it that I had seen online. I wish I could have showed more of it, but because again the music is playing so loud, if I stayed in there, I'd have to essentially mute all the audio. Bush Stadium is just behind there. That's a restricted area, so we can't go there. But over here I see a nice big World Series monument. There's the monument all with all the World Series champion banners up on top of Six Cardinal Way, and then there's also a Sports and Social St. Louis bar over there. Let's go this way, get an up-close look at Bush Stadium home of the St. Louis Cardinals and in this way you can see some of the hockey fans exiting the hockey stadium would be or arena would be down that way Yeah, this whole thing is really cool. Now, I'm, I always bragged about uh, San Diego the two times I was there with their park at the park thing, but I think this 
seems to trump them. Everything is designed so eloquently too to fit the theme. So at first I was saying, okay, the arch is the big tourist attraction and nice spot of downtown area, but this is a very good complimentary number two with the whole theme. Like this is even February. This isn't uh this isn't baseball season right now per se and you can see that the area even though it was helped by the hockey game the area is doing pretty well it's not like it's completely dead Cardinals Hall of Fame and Museum. Now, I don't know if this spot is publicly accessible. I mean, it's publicly accessible. I don't know if like, I can go in there and film the whole thing with my camera and my backpack on that I have. It says the Hall of Fame and Museum is on level two. I'll do some more research and this, this could be one of the things that I come back and do like a specific video on. Well, this seems to be like the back side of the building we went in earlier briefly. So it's nice that it actually kind of looks out on the baseball field. I know you're seeing mostly pavement. You can't get the camera to field level per se. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Maybe if we're closer to center field. salt and smoke and on both sides I didn't capture it or, or at least I didn't point it out on the other end of the street see where this ballpark village signage is they had it on the opposite end when you were coming in too Yeah, this is the ballpark. I'd probably have to walk all the way around to see like the name of the stadium on the front of it.
Well, that shouldn't take too long though, so let's go ahead and try a quick walk around the park. And because I saw the activity here, I may not walk all the way down by the Civic Center area. So this portion of the walk may not be particularly interesting if you ever walked around ballparks. You know, you've got the nice view from center field, typically. But then when you're walking along like the first or third base lines or edge of the outfields, there's not too much to see. But it's always nice to get that one shot of the name of the field or stadium. I assume we can get around here. Let's get a curve. This is the right field gate area. You can see that it's right up against the highway. Oh, well, maybe we can't get around. Darn it. Huh, isn't that something? Oh, well, at least you get to see the arch again. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna film the walk back to the ballpark village portion. All right, we just fast forwarded back to the center field area. But surely we'll be able to walk around to the home plate area from here, right? It's nice too if you look this way, way in the distance there. Not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you got a shot of the Ferris wheel at Union Station. Well, they have a boatload of monuments of players here.
Oh, wait a minute. So the sign is actually here, or one of the signs. Bush Stadium. That's what I was looking for. I don't know if that's the main sign or if there's another one. That probably is where the sign is because, you know, earlier, like, you saw the, uh, highway is right near the home plate area. At least I think that's the home plate area over there. But since I'm over here, I might as well finish the walk down. We've got some baseball player here too. It has a monument all to himself. Let's try to see what legendary Cardinals player that is. Stanley Frank Musile, Stan the Man. In the third base gate, you sort of get a far distance view of the Budweiser sign. Moment of truth. Do we have a Bush Stadium signed by home plate? Yeah, there actually is. But it's really no different than what we saw more toward the left field area. So you can see it when you're on like the highway. But in terms of signage, it's not like progressive field, for example, where you've got the one main sign at home plate. Well, that will do it for today's exploring, I think, for St. Louis. We looked at the arch and then like the ballpark village area. I decided not to go continue going down to the Civic Center because the game's been over a decent amount of time and I think the crowd would have dispensed by now. And this was like the really cool area. Still have to think when I get back whether I'm going to split this video into two because it kind of was two different themes like first half the arch, second half the ballpark village portion but we'll see one more time if you like this video smash that like button subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and leave a comment down below telling us what you think of the St. Louis area and we will see you next time
since I'm on my way back, might as well get one more shot of the arch when the sun is starting to set.